Good morning, viewers. I hope you guys are doing well. I uh, just wanted to discuss about regarding about the the Monroe OE Spectrum uh, shocks. I've been having a little bit of some issues with these shocks. Recently, I, I, I replaced shocks on a 2015 Toyota Sienna. I did the rear shocks on those. And, and lately, I've, I've been running into some issues with the shocks. And the customer was complaining that, that there was a noise in the left rear. Like, I replaced both of the shocks in the rear. Uh, he was saying in the left rear there was like a, a like a clunking or a, 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 a clanking noise or something like a, every time you run over bumps or when turning sometimes there would be like a noise like a a metallic uh, noise and so recently i ran into some issues with these shocks and i uh discussed to the parts manager at the part supplier that I deal with and they they've told me that th they have been getting a lot of returns and exchanges lately from these Monroe uh, shocks I don't know if 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 the struts have issues with those as well but uh, specifically I'm talking about the uh, the shocks here and so uh so the, I, I replaced it uh, 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 already with a replacement one. And so far, so good. There's no more noise. The customer said it's good so far. Uh, I did notice that one of the shocks that I installed, it seemed like an older batch because the, the, the part number or the label, it looked a little different and older, older style compared to the other box and that's why I didn't have an issue uh, on the right side I only had an issue on the left side and so for, so for this particular one I don't know on what it is like if I hit it it makes noise but there's like a, a, a metal shield here a dust shield but I don't know if that's the noise that the customer <laughs> was hearing but I do see some scraping, some scraping on the side here. So I'm not sure if that was like rubbing against the uh, rubbing against the body of of the vehicle or something. I'm not sure on uh, on what it was, but that's the that's the issue that I was having with this. I already. I double checked my work and I installed the the bushings and the uh, the washers correctly and still it was making noise and I tried to retighten it and stuff and it was still still making noise after that so the new replacement one I got a replacement uh, under warranty so I put a replacement one and so far it's okay there's no complaints yet but uh, I just wanted to, to let you guys know if you run into this same issue, you install shocks uh, during the road test. It, might, it may drive fine, but after you drive it for a while, it starts to make noise. So I did go for a road test when I installed the first set of shocks. I didn't hear anything. Everything was okay. And even the customer said it was okay. And the, the customer lives very far away so he takes the highway usually to go back home and after that uh, the customer was telling me it was making noise so I just replaced it with a new one uh, the, uh, only on the left side the right side was fine so I just did the left side I replaced it under warranty for him so far so good and then, uh, and, then it's, uh, and that's it one other issues uh, I've ran into uh, in the past uh, over my years, uh, the Monroe shocks and struts, they usually work relatively okay. I haven't had too many problems with them. 
although I do <laughs> recommend the KYB shocks and struts. They are uh, a, a lot better than the Monroes, but the, even the KYBs, uh, there's a there's been the, the, a few batches aftermarket. I've had some like minor issues with uh, of uh, like making noise. So really, there's not too much that you can do about that. Um, I do know specifically on the Monroe shocks and some of the customer vehicles after installation all good the customer uh, drives away and they come back for the next service or oil change service and then i start to notice that there's a little bit of leakage on the shock like a little bit damp so and that's not good and so a majority of the times the the shop does not say anything about that unless the customer is uh, complaining so a lot of times or sometimes actually uh, they do leak after a while so but if it's a customer of mine and i notice that that there is leakage and i would tell the customer and replace it under warranty because the uh, shocks and struts are not supposed to leak although they say a little bit of seepage is uh, classified as uh, as normal but uh, it's not normal. There shouldn't be any leakage uh, uh, at all. It should be dry. The shocks and or struts uh, should be dry. There shouldn't be any amount of leakage outside the casing uh, of the body if they are still good. And so uh, I, I believe that if a customer paid good money to replace struts and or shocks, and so I believe that, that they should get a good pair of struts and or shocks and there shouldn't be any issues with it any issues with it then uh, i'll give them a warranty of some sort if it's not past the the the, uh, the warranty agreement or date in which i classify as something as warranty and i know most shops and places will usually have like like one or two years warranty on parts and maybe maybe like 20, 20,000 kilometers. Some places a minimum of 12,000 or 20,000 kilometers up to uh, 40,000 kilometers for warranty. Warranty does suck sometimes or all the time because you have to work for free because a part or something failed in, in, in most cases. So that's why I try to install a good quality part. Right? Some aftermarket stuff is okay to use. And, and sometimes you are just uh, are better off just using the, the dealer stuff and to, and to be done with it. Otherwise, if you have issues with some aftermarket parts, you're going to be replacing it over and over again. So that's it for this one. I just wanted to give you guys a, a heads up. If you run into any issues with the Monroe stuff, I'm not giving them a bad name. I've installed uh, tons and tons of struts and shocks uh, using this brand. And usually it's okay. I haven't had too many issues. Uh, and of course, the, the OEM dealer stuff is going to be a whole lot better usually in most cases compared to aftermarket stuff. The... OEM dealer stuff is going to last a whole lot longer than the aftermarket stuff. So, so that's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please don't forget to give it a like. And please consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. And if you haven't done so, please don't forget to hit that bell notification. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day and take care.